Hello guys and before going any further, we will need the driver package for any device for which you are going to install the driver. And today our test device is the Handtech USB oscilloscope and we will try to install the USB, I mean, USB driver for this particular device. We are going to download the driver package for this particular device and uh, it's pretty easy, it's easily found in the Google Chrome. So I'm going to just type Handtech with the model number. So as you can see, this is the actual manufacturer website and you can find it here in the download section. So same way, let it be any device, you will find the driver in the manufacturer's website. In some cases, if you don't find the driver there, uh, you will find them in the CD that comes along with the device. Uh, in one of my case, what happened was uh, it was neither in the CD nor in the website. But the website contained the software and I installed it in the program files over here. And the software is called uh, Sally. You can see the drivers here, alright? I couldn't find it anywhere, I found the driver only here. With all the drivers at hand, let's get started. So this is our device's uh, driver that I downloaded from the manufacturer's website. And as you can see, if I double click it, it's having a set of files which forms the driver package and this file over here called the setup information or let me show you what that actually shows in the properties it is the INF file and it's pretty much important because we will use that in a second I will copy this file and paste it directly under the drive Y because uh, it's pretty easy for me to type the file path in the command prompt and let's rename it to something simple we will be using a command called uh, pnp util uh, which is pretty well documented in the microsoft's website and okay let's go ahead and run the command prompt and make sure it's uh, set to run as administrator all right so let's go ahead and type the command uh, pnp util dot uh, exe this hyphen and a means uh, we are going to add the driver to the windows drive store so windows is going to recognize this as a driver and it's going to show in its list of drivers now i'm going to type the file path to our inf file that i showed you earlier but before doing that let me just uh, copy the file name of our inf file and uh, okay let me go ahead and type it which is the drive letter y uh, colon backslash our uh, driver folder which is the h driver and i'm going to just uh, paste the uh, file name at the end we have to type the dot inf and it's pretty important okay let's go ahead and press enter voila our command was executed successfully and as you can see there is a little name called oem34.inf this name is pretty important and uh, that will be useful while uninstalling well now let's uh, go ahead and try plugging in our uh, device and see how it responds for that we have to go to the device manager and uh, there we go we got our unknown device and let's update the driver browse the computer let me pick and now we have to search for our driver and there we have it the handtech uh, driver that is getting listed in the windows driver list and that's a good progress okay let's uh, try and install wow it's installing that's it that's it guys and that's how we install the driver but again there was an exception once I tried installing uh, Sally's uh, driver uh, in the same manner as I installed the hand tag, but I couldn't find the driver listed in the drivers list but instead it was nested under the USB serial controllers 
so this is the only uh, disadvantage that I have seen in this method so far so let's name it as disadvantage 1 now let's start uninstalling the installed driver so to uninstall you have to know this OEM uh, number for a particular driver in, in many cases you don't know what the number is because we don't actually go ahead and note it every time we install so what you can do is uh, you can use the uh, pnp uh, exe instead of a you have to put iphone e e for enumerate and when you press it it's going to show all the list of uh, drivers that has been installed apart from the default windows drivers all right whatever we install from the outside uh, gets uh, its place in here and uh, there we go we got our oem27.inf uh, which is the published name all right uh, now we know this is the name of the hand tech driver let's try and install it well now instead of putting e or a you have to put d for delete space uh, the uh, previously we used to put the uh, file path and the file name of the INF driver but now we know the OEM number right so you have to delete that not the actual file and so you have to put the OEM number which is OEM 27 I guess now let's execute it see missed the INF so let's try again Wow, driver pack is successfully deleted. In some cases, it will come up with a pop up saying one or two devices are still using this driver. In such cases, what you can do is ask it to force delete, which is iPhone F, uh, iPhone D, which is for force delete, and you can press it. We'll delete the driver, and as we have already deleted the driver, it's coming up with the error message, and that's okay. But still, there is a catch. When I try to plug the device back, it still recognizes the device as hand tech. Since there is no driver, it uh, shows with the yellow in indication mark. For that purpose, I used the driver booster uh, clean unplugged devices data. What it did is uh, it removed all the data, and when I tried to replug my device, it again showed us unknown device okay then the second thing about this is the hand tech uh, driver was still showing in the uh, windows driver list as you can see here but when i click and navigate inside there is no driver we can still find the leftovers so it's a fairly straightforward method to install any kind of device driver in windows platform and hope it doesn't get nested anywhere inside and, but it's pretty simple you have to go ahead and search uh, where the driver is actually well while uninstalling we can still find the traces of the driver and it requires a third party app to actually remove the device data so if you guys have any other fixes for these three problems uh, please do post them in the comments below and thanks for watching guys like it if you think it's worth it. Thanks for watching.